All right, what are we doing today, Ev? Uh, put some bushes in my rear end. Put some bushes in the rear end with the Nolathane kit. On the on the Magnara, Big Ev Phase Three. We're undecided. Everyone, leave a leave a comment. What do you think we should call it? All right. Hey Ev? Yeah. What's what's the difference between the Calais and the Monaro diff? You just make a pun. I did. Um so your Calais is a three four five ratio, correct? I'll stick. It is. This was a yeah. uh it's it says high performance, which I would assume is not an LSD. Um, oh, and the code on the front, the front of the car says it's um, it's a 308 ratio. So there you go. So in the CV6s, uh, they figured they didn't have enough power for an LSD, so they just gave it the old single most pegger. Of all the automatics came with 308. It was only the manuals of T56 got the 345s, and the GTS has got the 373s and 39s. There you go. This one also came with a free layer of rust. What are we doing, Ev? What are we doing today? Um, so, bushes in the rear end that we can do. Bushes in the rear end. So, we're talking... What are we talking? Torsion bars? Uh, Front, so, uh, subframe mount bushes. Um, trailing arm bushes. So, sub mount being that big one right there that everyone hates to do because you have to remove the whole cradle. Um, the inner and outer arm bushes um, the sway bar rear the sway bar. rear Quite sway bar there's the bottom of the link pin there's the top of the link pin there's the sway bar it goes up and over the diff so we're going to get to that one oh, what brand are you what brand are your CVs DC 1903s stop uni drives there you go there you they've go been, they've been replaced at some point <laughs> what does the diff say the diff says High performance, use approved lubricant only. Let's bend it. So we got we got a little bit of surface rust under here. It is a 20 plus year old, oh, it is a 20 year old car, so that's okay. Nothing we can't deal with in the tin shed. So hey, hey Ev. Yo. How tight should your wheel nuts be? Lock tight. Lock tight. Lock it on tight. So this is the easy way to lower the front of your Monaro. You don't need to lower the fronts. You just lift the rears by like 10 inches, isn't that right, Ev? You put some big tractor tires on the rear end. What's those um, cars you see in like in America? That's like big low riders. Big low riders. We'll have the low rider Magnaro. Look at that. Look at that. You can mow the grass with this thing. Yeah. Well, that's a lot easier. Except the last one, it must be Loctite on that one. Welcome to another Science with Shawno episode. Science with Shawno. He's also got the safety goggles out as we have reviewed our uh, workplace health and safety. The, uh, the, the safety squint has been deemed unsafe. Mm. So we now have the glasses. The safety footwear is still under negotiations. Alright. Oi. How much torque do you reckon you need? Oh, probably about three or four other duggers. Or, or a Donald Trump mouth. Ooh. It's about half a Donald Trump. Half a Donald Trump yeah. or three or four other duggers? <sighs> no, it's only half a Donald Trump. We don't want to go full Donald Trump because then we'll get indicted. How good is that shock, Sean? Um quite shocking. Oh dear. <laughs> you asked the question. So, uh, shocks are in order, which we already knew. Yeah. That'd be, um... Do you like, actually, do you like the height? Do you want to keep it the same height, or we should go lower? Surprisingly, the height of this is actually about an inch lower than what the Calais is currently. So, 
It'd be interesting to see how much the Calais uh, settles versus how far this, well, this has, is a, has settled over well, a long time. Well, this is FE2 suspension, which is what we got for the Calais. Yeah. But it's obviously a lot lower. I don't know if that's the actual Monaro FE2 is different than a Calais FE2. I wouldn't think so, being both feet wise. I think it would be the same, same. I think this suspension's just uh, settled a bit. Yeah. An inch, an inch difference is a fair bit though. And we noticed that just pushing the jack under the fuel tank, that clearance difference between the Calais and this was quite, quite a bit, so. So we just get new shocks and just leave the stock springs in there? Leave the springs in there, see what it rides like. All right. Yeah. I'm going to get myself some new shocks then. I'll just replace the shocks, FE2 shocks. Leave the springs in it. All right, perfect. All right. Keep us. So we're just taking the... Um... You do have a progressive spring in here though. Yeah. So they go from smaller to the larger. So we're just going to take the rear shocks off and that should then allow us to pull that down to do enough. Yeah. Alright. Well, we're going to leave the CV on um, and we're going to try and see if we can just pull it undo out. these and, and pop these out so the front of the arm will tip down. Yep. And then we'll use your, um, your press tool kit on yep. the car and see what we can do. We finally got the um, front subframe mount out and a bit of a pain, wasn't it, Sean? Front bastard, yeah, it's uh, been in there for a while, I'd say 20 years. You got more, had more dirt than your Land Cruiser. It did, yeah, I think this Monaro's... Uh, Definitely been bush bash at some point. Targa, Targa Grafton or something, I don't know what was going on. But um, here's the, uh, from the inside, so you can see, let me put some light down. Not too bad, cracking there, but then we flip it over. Splitsville. Splitsville. So yeah, definitely had to happen. But pretty red runs. All right. Pretty red run. Go fast bits. Go fast bits. Go fast bits. All right. Um, what's the easiest way? Do we want to lower it down so we can get to those uh, trailing arm ones a lot easier now? Uh, no, I'm happy with that one. All right. Where, where is the, uh, when we try these things to save time, it always becomes a pain in the ass. So, the whole trailing arm is coming out now because those CVs have a, a split in the boot. You can see a split on the top of it. Yeah, so new. We're gonna get new, some new CDs anyway because they are they look old and ratty as yeah. So, and um, in the next episode, we'll we'll be doing the diff, and CDs will uh will get replaced then. But at the moment, we don't need these ones, so we're pulling them out and chuck them in the bin. Or we're taking the power cruise, and we'll flog them off for like hundred bucks each. Because everyone does a fucking CD at power cruise. Yeah. How nice and tight is that uh, CV mm. bolt, Sean? <clears throat> tight enough that I'm turning the actual diff. How do we stop that? It's in park. It's an automatic, at least. It's going to take some turns to get to the to the, uh, the locking pin. Right. How many uggers do you reckon? Well, find out. Catch us next episode on uh, Tin Show TV. <clears throat> when uh, Sean does a hernia. <sighs>
what's what's going on, Ev? What, what's happened? CV bolts. We're we're using the uh, the sway bar removal kit. Hey! Oh. Alright, pull the ditch out. When your CV bolts don't want to play the game, if in doubt, cut it out. Yeah, we just ended up taking the whole arm out instead of trying to do it under the car. It's got pretty red things. Ready? Oh, oh just a bit. A bit oh. too bit thick on the car. I think, I think Ev needs some more lube. Oh. Oh. All right. Beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, make sure you lube up all your surfaces. Yeah, we don't want to go and dry on both ends. We got a lube up in here as well. She uh, slides in nice and easy. Mm, nice. And we've gone adjustables on the inners and the non-adjustables on the on the rears. Yeah. Oh, we'll see if we're gonna, I'm going to keep around FE2 height, so don't need to have crazy adjustables. And when you do adjusting. Um, on the suspension plate, you adjust one, the other side will go out, out of whack. So by having a non-adjustable on the outside, when you adjust one side, it's, you're only working on one end and it's a lot quicker and the suspension plate says you're not spend as much time on it. Yeah, unlike the uh, adjustable inners and outers we put on the Calo, and it took them quite a while to get it right, but it's mint now, but um, yeah. Eve's decided to do adjustables on the inner. So well, that's gonna... what came in the kit. I wanted to, but no. That's what came in the kit, so we're going to see if we can actually feel the difference between the two cars, and I, um, I, I doubt it, to be honest. What do you maybe, think? Maybe it was an ultra low. You could have had really massive um, camera and toe adjustment, but... Yeah, I, I'm too old to have my, my Commodore sit that close to the ground. All right, well... All right, so let's put that back in there. Uh, I can tell you, Sean, this is so a lot easier going back in than it is uh, getting pulled out. So, so it's a lot easier when you make someone else do the work too, but this is Ev's car. So I'm making Ev do the work. It's about time, isn't it? It's about time he got some, you know, grease under his fingernails. Some lube. Some lube. So he's just putting the uh, the inner in there. Yeah, the outer sitting there ready to go with our bolts in it. We've got the new caster in there as well. They've only done one side so far and it's uh, it's smoker already. Yeah, it's oh. taken us a, a, a little while. We try to try to do things the the lazy way and it kind of bit us in the ass. I want to, I want to see if the tool works. Well the, the, the tool didn't work. It didn't work because the surfaces weren't flat. Yeah. And we made Mr. We made the Rod look like a fucking cucumber. Yeah, yeah. The tool didn't work, but this this tool's working. So we'll we'll stick with this tool. What does what does everyone else think? We'll we'll make Ev do some more work because it always seems to be me under the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's paid off your supercharger finally. You just got to fit it, don't you? Are you actually doing upper bolt, or are you just hitting the muffler to sound busy? Shaky's <laughs> <laughs> found out. <laughs> The more we work on this car, the more dirt and crap we find. I swear this has been in the Tweed River at some point. Yeah, it's a... It definitely hasn't been uh, loved. Well, there's more... Every time we hit something, the bolt 
Brings out dirt. Dirt falls out of holes. Every bolt, nut and bolt, buddy, seized up. Seized or corroded or fucking locked tighted. Yeah, all locked tighted. All right, we're gonna go, go have dinner, and next time you see us, it'll be a new day, and we'll do the left hand, the right hand side. Subway. Eat fresh. Yeah, can we get a sponsorship from Subway yet? <laughs> Or GYG, chicken burrito, <laughs> breakfast of champions. <laughs> no, the breakfast burrito is breakfast of champions. Oh, doesn't matter what time you have a burrito. <laughs> Alright, All right, drop it down. Alright, day two. We're going to do the right hand side now. Yeah. <laughs> days. Alright. She's out. Uh, just got to do the inners now, don't you? You want to clean this dust bowl out? Everyone likes a good blowjob. is more a Monaro or a Land Cruiser put it in the comments because on the best four wheel driving channel nah joking <laughs> superior eat your heart out <laughs> I think we need a, a new shock ready right go right to the top <laughs> <laughs> it ain't coming out <laughs> think I found your problem um all right <sighs> that was much easier. Why don't, we Why don't we do this the first day, Sean? You wouldn't listen to me. People call me lazy. I'm not. I'm just efficient. <laughs> Alright. This much do, but I don't think uh, traction is going to be the issue with the wheels. Look at that. Um, nope, so Sean's putting that in. I'll take it. Oh, oh. Wait, so down over there. Who made this fucking rod last time? Hey? Someone made this rod. Oh. Oh, yeah. Love it. 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 Another episode of Science with Shauno. Heat make, heat make metal go big. Also, heat make plastic melt with inside. There you go. Another episode of Science with Shauno. Boom! In the bed! Alright, before I throw the new bushes in, I'm just going to give them a clean up with the, uh, like a scouring type pad. Look pretty inside. So clean. All right, so we just pulled the uh, tie rod end out. So okay. they're, they're this little pressed in bush, and now we're just going to replace them with a uh, new little North Fame one. So that just um, gets pressed in. We'll put some WD on that just so it doesn't rust inside. There's no need to put lube on the outside because lube's only for the actual rubber bush inside. When you put in these new, these new like toe link bushes, the offset goes towards the front, same as the way that points. More storms. More rain, Shauna. Ooh, 
three spin afternoon storms. What are we doing now, Shoto? Uh, take the speed sensors out. I've already lowered the diff. We all know how much I love a diff mount. And we're just going to throw the rear sway bar in now. So we can get up over the top, do the rear sway bar, rear link pins, put this torsion bar back in. And then happy days, we're done. Wheel, wheels on. Lower uh, car. Bob, uh, Bob's your brother, your mother's sister. No, that's not right. It could be these days, it's 2023. <laughs> Bob's your mother's brother. Okay. Um, cool. And we'll throw the wheels back on and then we're done. Um, and I'll finish us off for the day. I'm gonna go pull some uh, sway bar, old sway bar bushes out. Tin shed, the... tin shed TV sway bar rubber removal kit. Good out. Ugh. Can't really see the smoke, but I reckon it makes more than Big Ev on a skid pan. Boom. Next. Right, let's have a look at that. Oh, look at that. Boom. Mm. I think I'm starting to convince Ev my way of uh, getting bushes out. I haven't got time to stuff around. Is that hashtag burnout goals? Is that is that what you're... You doing here? Huh? And. Oh, yeah. The link Sean, I don't need a rear sway bar, do I? Nah. Nah, drift spec, bro. No sway bar, no link pins. Strip as much weight as possible. We have to, because we've. Put them with our fat asses in the driver's seat. Alright, so Sean's just finishing up the sway bar. Um, and then. That's it, isn't it? Sway bar, link pins. And put the disc back up. Um, and that's the whole rear end done. Yep, give and it a check, put the tires on. Another day done, Sean. Yeah. Another rear end. Go, Ollie, go. Ah, one more, one more, go. Ollie, go. Jack stands out. Um, so we've got one dodgy rear toe link with a bad thread. So because of that, uh, we can't put that one back in. It's not. It doesn't seem to want to grip the nut. Nut the spins. So we're gonna find a new uh, toe leg, don't we, Sean? Yeah. Hiya. Clear. Clear. Oh, look at that. High rider. Go. Oh. All right. So, like, subscribe. Another episode out shortly on the build. What's next, Shauno? I don't know. What's next? Heart transplant? Diff. Diff. What else? Heart transplant. Heart transplant. It's a, it's a special diff, though. It's not a factory diff. Make sure you uh, subscribe so you can find out what we're doing. Ready? Nah, it's only half Donald Trump. We don't want to go full Donald Trump because then we'll get indicted. <laughs> I don't need you. <laughs> Stick it up the hole! Not that hole, that hole. I think we need a... New shock, ready? Right. Put this up here.
Ready? Go! And... Oh. Oh, it actually came out. Tin shed, tin shed TV sway bar rubber removal kit. My poor, my poor table. Safety first, safety boots on. Uh, time to lube. Where are the rest? Rear link pin bush. Woo! Hot. Front link pin. We talk about full crews. We're now talking about feet. I only left the rock so we can see you now. Killing it in science. Like this, you wanna whack it? <laughs>